Hi guys, it's me. So today I have a super fun project. We are going to be making these cute little word embellishments. And the best thing that we're making them with is something that I'm sure all of you have in your stash, which are painted baby wipes. You know, we use them when we're painting, when we're working on projects. And um, this is a great way to recycle them. So all you're going to need is baby wipes. You'll need your deco page glue. This is American Americana Deco Arts. You'll need a paintbrush to apply your glue. And then I have all, all of these um, jelly prints that I'm going to use um, that I made um, with Americana paint. Um, the Deco Arts paint, and I really love their paints because um, they're light fast, which means that they last for a really long time. So I made all of these gorgeous prints with them. Um, some of these were sent to me in Happy Mail, like this one and a few other ones that I'll use, but I just always have baby wipes that I use in my art. So they're super simple to make. All you're going to do to do this project is you'll just cut out a rectangular shape from your baby wipe. And you kind of want to make jelly prints or use jelly prints that are kind of in the same color scheme. But I really love using the jelly prints because they have um, just so much texture and dimension and pattern in them naturally. But you could absolutely use scrapbooking paper and that would be fine too. Okay, so we can, we're going to take something like that, which is a little strip of my baby wipe. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're just going to basically make a rectangular shape. And then we're going to layer it. So I have a lot of jelly prints. Um, this one was sent to me in Happy Mail. We'll use this one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just cut out another rectangular shape. And they're really fun because they're layered. I was actually sent a Happy Mail envelope that someone sent me that they had um, jelly printed on. So you're just going to make it so it's slightly smaller um, than your square of um, the washi of the baby wipe. Not washi, baby wipe. Cool. And you know what I'm going to do so you guys can see better is, let's put these on white. I think that'll be a little better. That one still needs to dry. But just when I'm putting them together, you'll see it will look so crazy. <laughs> we'll put that on top of there. Okay, and I have a, another one that I need to work on a couple more. So I'll make a couple more together. And then what I have also is these cute little words. And I gave these to my patrons last month um, as a free download because they get a download every month. Um, for me, at least one. I usually give them more than that, but I'm going to make it available for you guys too. Um, just hit the link in the description box and you can print it off to using your art too. And I love to use these for so many different things. Um, so I'm just going to cut them out. And they're just little words. They say dream, love, believe, just words that I love to use in my art, positive words. We're going to go ahead and trim them down a bit. Just like that. All right. Okay, and you just want to trim them down so that they'll fit inside of the word. Okay. Or they'll fit on your layers. Okay. So this is the one we cut out. We'll start with this one first. Now, when you're brushing this with your decoupage glue, you want to go over the entire surface. And the reason why you want to do that is because it makes um, the your wash your baby your baby wipe a little bit um, more sturdy. So that's why I do that. So you're going to go ahead and then you can stick it down. It doesn't have to be centered. I mean, I like it a little bit centered, but don't worry. Don't be a crazy perfectionist and miss the fun of this project. And then we're just going to put a, the letter or the word right in kind of the center. That's it. And then we'll brush over the top. That's it. Just like that. And thicker words, you'll have to apply a little bit more glue or thicker paper. And we're going to do the same thing so we can finish up the rest of these too. So we're going to again take our glue. I'm using my deco page and gloss. And you can use these little embellishments on ATCs or on an art journal page or kind of whatever you like. I'm teaching an art journal page. Um, 
in the summer a uh, few sessions I'm going to have. So I'm super duper excited um, and I'm definitely going to make some of these um, for my students to use. It'll be fun. But I love recycling things that are already in my stash and using them. And you know, we all have little baby wipes that we use when we're doing our art that kind of sit there and collect dust. So this is a really fun way to recycle them. Right? Just like that. Let's do peace will be our last one. Because it's a fairly easy technique. I'm sure you guys will get it very, very well. Very good. All right, go ahead and push everything down. And you know, if you don't like your placement of the second layer, which is the jelly print, then you could absolutely um, trim it down. Just grab your scissors and trim it down the way that you want. And when you put these down on the page, so you let them fully dry. When you put them down on the page, um, just, you know, apply just like you would collage anything. So you'll apply a layer of your glue, put this on top, and then seal it down. And you could even add little doodles on them or whatever. But let me give you kind of a close-up. But they are so cute, and they're so fun and simple to make, and just beautiful. And you could, you know, block them out with black or whatever. But they're so cute, and I love them so much. So I hope you make these. Please don't forget to get your free download. Um, and don't forget to hit that share button underneath this video. Share. Share with all your friends. Um, because uh, we have a lot of fun on this channel and it helps me out when you hit that share button. Okay guys, so um, I will see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye!